Good evening. Um, as Gar said, if I haven't met you all, I'm Laura Bond. I'm a vestry member, and um, my family has been parishioners here since 1998, so uh, kind of like my home, home place here. But I'm helping Bruce with the stewardship campaign this, this year, and he asked me to just say a few words. So, first, I think it's safe to say that we have all been through a bit of a rough patch lately. In addition to what we consider, you know, know we're going to encounter in our daily lives in terms of health issues and financial issues and loss of loved ones and, and those type of things, over the past few years, it seems that political divisions have deepened and broadened to topics that were never political before. Um, there's continuing strife and unrest around the world. We have a record number of displaced people in the world right now who have fled terror and hunger and economic and political upheaval. And then just to put the icing on the cake, we had a global pandemic that just disrupted our daily lives and, and is, uh, you know, it's a bit of a rough patch. But that's where you all come in. And, and I, by you, I mean the people who are St. Thomas. You all have come in because because of you, there was amazing support, even through these rough times. We can come to St. Thomas and find solace in the knowledge of God's love for us and our love for each other. Through our incredible clergy and staff, and with your support and, this, and us supporting each other, we have found sanctuary from that political division, understanding and support for our worries and our fears, strength and resolve to push forward and make our way. We have found peace and joy, even in the rough patches. And even more amazing, not only have we found solace and strength for ourselves, we have continued to reach out and to take that love and strength and support, resolve and joy out into the world. I haven't been allowed enough time tonight to name off all the different groups and things that have happened here at St. Thomas, but let me just try to touch on a few of them just to remind you. Our clergy and staff, with your financial and spiritual support, rose to the challenge and turned on a dime to almost seamlessly convert to online worship when it was necessary. And with that online worship, we grew as a, con as a congregation. Our leadership has carefully monitored the health indicators and continually adjusted, sometimes on a weekly basis, our approach to the best and safest worship opportunities that are possible. We have continued and expanded small group ministries, such as contemplative prayer, neighborhood groups, faith club, sometimes on Zoom, but we got to do what you got to do. Um, our outreach has continued with ministries such as the youth ministries, ROTC, reaching out to the community, Tom's Helpers, Neighborhood Groups, Comanche Elementary, Back Snack, and Kansas to Kenya, and the Agatha Mani House. In short, we have taken peace and joy to our community and around the world even, even in the rough patches. So here is the big ask, because I have to have the big ask, right? And actually, it's not that big for this crowd because um, what I'd like to ask you to do is just keep up the good work. Please prayerfully consider your stewardship pledge to St. Thomas. Consider how you can best continue to contribute your time and talent and your financial support so that we can continue making St. Thomas a place where we can come to remember God's love for us and our love for each other and to take that love out into the community and out into the world all so that we and our neighbors can continue to find peace and love even during the rough patches. Thank you. <laughs>